The present video on nematode parasites of veterinary importance has been developed for the students of veterinary parasitology. The contents comprise morphological identification of various diagnostic stages of economically important nematodes. The general characters of nematodes. Nematodes are commonly known as roundworms are elongated, unsegmented worms, usually cylindrical and tapering at either ends with separate sexes. The digestive system is tubular and consists of mouth which may be surrounded by two or three lips and leads into esophagus and a simple tubular intestine. The excretory system is a primitive osmoregulatory system consisting of a canal within each lateral cord joining at the excretory pore in the esophageal region. The nervous system consists of a number of ganglia connected by fibers forming nerve ring surrounding the esophagus. Six nerve trunks arise from the nerve ring anteriorly and posteriorly. The female reproductive system comprises of ovary, oviduct, seminal receptacle and uterus which may be paired or sometimes single ending in a common short vagina which opens at the vulva. Nematode females can be oviparous, ovoviviparous or viviparous. The male reproductive organs consist of a single testis and a vast difference terminating in a muscular ejaculatory duct into the cloaca. Accessory male organs include usually paired chitinous spicules Gubernaculum, which is a chitinous small structure located in the dorsal wall and telemon, the thickening is located in the ventral wall. The males can be bursate or non-bursate. Ascarisum, present in the small intestine of pigs. The females are larger than the males and up to 40 cm long. Adults have one dorsal and two ventrolateral well-developed lips, large number of precloical papillae and stout spicules in males. Eggs are oval or globular, thick-shelled, having prominent projections or corrugations in outer albuminous layer and the embryo is unsegmented. Parascaris equorum is present in the small intestine of equines. They are larger than Ascarisum and has a large head with three conspicuous lips separated by three small intermediate lips. In male, tail has a small lateral alley and a single median papilla on the anterior border of cloaca. Eggs are subglobular with thick shell fine pits in outer albuminous layer and an unsegmented embryo. Toxocara canis, arrow-headed worm of present in the small intestine of dog. They are around 10 to 18 cm long having an anteriorly ventred bent end. The male worms have winged spicules, terminal narrow appendage and caudal alley on the tail. Eggs are subglobular with thick shell and fine pits in outer albuminous layer and an unsegmented embryo. Toxocera cati, arrow-headed worm, uh, present in the small intestine of cat. These are the smaller worms with broad, long and striated cervical alley, giving it an arrow shape. Males have a short finger-like projection at posterior end. Toxascaris leonina, present in the small intestine of dog and cat. They are smaller, has long and narrow lateral cervical alley at the anterior end. Eggs are subglobular with thick, smooth shell. Toxacara vitulorum, present in the small intestine of cattle and buffalo. They are large worms with soft translucent body which do not taper much towards the extremity. They have three lips, 
broad at base and narrow anteriorly. The tail of the male has a small spike-like appendage and have five pair of post-cloacal papillae. Auxiuris equi, pinworm of horse. The mature females are up to 15 cm and have a characteristic pointed tail which may occupy three quarters of the total length whereas males are very small, only 12 mm in length and have a single pin-shaped spicule. Eggs are oval, slightly flattened on one end with thick, smooth shell and a plug at one end. Heterachis gallinarum present in the cecum of poultry are small worms with large lateral alley. Esophagus has a strong posterior bulb. In males, the tail has large caudal alley with a prominent circular precloacal sucker. Spicules are unequal, the right being longer. Eggs are thick and smooth shelled with an unsegmented embryo. Ascaridia gallae present in the small intestine of poultry. These are larger worms with three large lips, but esophagus has no posterior bulb. Tail of the male has a small alley and bear 10 pair of papillae. There is a circular precloacal sucker with a thick cuticular rim and spicules are subequal. The eggs are oval, smooth shell with an unsegmented embryo. Strongolitis species, these are present in the small intestine of the hosts. The adult parasitic worms are very small and are characterized by long filary form esophagus. The important species are Strongyloides papillosus, present in sheep, goat, cattle and wild ruminants. Strongyloides westeri, present in horse and pigs. Strongyloides cati in cats. Strongyloides ransomi in pig. Strongyloides avium in poultry. And Strongyloides stercorallis in man. Eggs are oval and thin shelled with blunt ends having fully developed larvae when laid. Genus Strongylus, Strongylus equinus, the palisade worm present in the cecum and colum of equines. Male is smaller, an oval buccal capsule with external and internal leaf crown is present. At base of the buccal capsule, two small subventral teeth and a large dorsal tooth which is Bifid at the tip are present. Strongylus edentatus present in the large intestine of equines. It is, is smaller than Strongylus equinus and has no teeth at the base of buccal capsule. Strongylus vulgaris also present in the large intestine of equines. It is smaller than both Strongylus edentatus and Strongylus equinus and has oval buccal capsule with two ear-shaped dorsal teeth at its base. The element of the external leaf crown are fringed at their distal extremities. The strongylus or the strongyle species eggs are thin-shelled, oval in shape and segmented when laid. Genus Esophagostomum, Esophagostomum columbianum, the lodular worm present in the colon of sheep and goat, the male is smaller again. Worms have long cervical alley, shallow buccal capsule and both internal and external leaf crowns. Bursa is well developed in males with equal and elate spicules. In females, short transverse vagina leads to kidney-shaped pars ejectrix or the ovijectors. Esophagostomum venulosum present in the colon of sheep and goat. The lateral cervical alley are absent, mouth collar is less prominent and the cervical papillae are present behind the level of esophagus. Esophagostomum radiatum present in colon of cattle and buffalo. The mouth collar is rounded and there is a large cephalic vesicle constricted behind its middle. There is only internal leaf crown. Esophagostomum dentatum present in colon of pig. 
the cervical ilia are absent, cephalic vesicle is prominent, cervical papillae are present, both external and internal leaf crowns are present. Stephanurus dentatus, the kidney worm of swine, which is present in the perirenal fat, renal pelvis, and the wall of ureters of swine. Adults are stout with cup shaped and thick walled buccal capsule. There are six prominent external cuticular thickenings called apulates on dorsal and ventral side of the worm. In males, bursa is small with short rays and two equal spicules. Eggs are ellipsoidal, thin shelled, and segmented when late. Syngamous trachea, the gape worm of poultry present in the trachea of the poultry, are small worms, and both the sexes of worms are found permanently in copulation. Mouth is wide with cup shaped buccal capsule having 6 to 10 small teeth at its base. Bursa is short, having stout rays and equal spicules. Ankylostoma caninum, hookworm of dogs, present in the small intestine. These are small worms. Adults are grey or reddish in colour with dorsally bent anterior end. Three teeth are present on either side on the ventral margin of the buccal capsule while a pair of triangular dorsal teeth and a pair of centrolateral teeth is present in the depth of buccal capsule. Bursa is well developed in males. Eggs are thin-shelled containing about 8 cells when passed in feces. Uncinaria stenocephala, hookworm of dog and cat present in the small intestine. The buccal capsule is funnel shaped with a pair of chitinous plates at the ventral border and a pair of subventral teeth at the base of buccal capsule. Bunostomum trigonocephalum, hookworm of sheep and goat, present in the small intestine. The anterior end is bent dorsal, buccal capsule is large and bears a pair of chitinous plates at its ventral margin and small subventral lancets at base of buccal capsule. Male has a well-developed bursa with asymmetrical dorsal lobe and cylinder elate spicules. The right external dorsal ray arises higher up on the dorsal stem and is longer than the left, which arises near the bifurcation of the dorsal ray, which divides into two tridigitate branches. Gygeria pachycellis, the hookworm of sheep and goat present in the duodenum. The buccal capsule has a pair of subventral lancets with several cusps but no dorsal tooth. Trichostrongylus species present in the small intestine of the host. The worms are small, slender, pale reddish brown in color. There is no buccal capsule. Excretory pore is usually situated in a conspicuous ventral notch at the anterior extremity. In males, bursa has long ventral lobes while the dorsal lobe is not well defined. Spicules are stout, ridged and pigmented brown. The important species are Trichostrongylus colubriformis in sheep, goat and cattle, Trichostrongylus vitrinus in sheep and goat, Trichostrongylus exei in abomasum of sheep and goat. In this, the spicules are unequal and dissimilar. Trichostrongylus teenius in poultry and Trichostrongylus orientalis in man. Ostatagia, the brown stomach worm. The cuticle of anterior extremity may be slightly inflated or transversely striated and rest of the body bears 25 to 35 longitudinal ridges. The spicules are pigmented brown, are relatively short and end posteriorly in two or three processes. The vulva of the female may be covered by a small anterior flap. The important species are Ostatagia ostatagia, abomasum of cattle goat. The spicules end in three bluntly hooked processes. Ostatagia circumcincta, present in abomasum of sheep and goat. 
The spicules are cylinder and ends in a large knobbed and a small acute process. Ostatasia trifurcata, in abomasum of sheep and goat. The spicules end in a stout knobbed tip while just behind the middle two sharp spurs are given off medially. Cuperia species, a small intestine of ruminants, a small sized worms, cuticle of anterior extremity forms a cephalic swelling while rest of the body bears 14 to 16 transversely striated longitudinal ridges. In males, spicules are short, pigmented brown and usually have ridged wing-like expansion at the middle. In females, vulva is situated behind the middle of the body and may be covered by a flap. The important species are Cuperia curtisi in sheep and goat, Cuperia punctata and Cuperia pectinata in cattle. Paracuperia nodulosa present in a small intestine of buffaloes. The worms are filiform and pinkish in color when fresh. Spicules are subequal, divided into three processes. In females, the genital opening is covered with a flap. Nematodirus species also present in the small intestine of the hosts. Relatively long worms, cuticle is inflated around the anterior end and has 14 to 18 longitudinal ridges on the rest of the body. Spicules are long, cylinder with tips fused together, spoon shaped. The tail of the female is short and truncated with the cylinder terminal appendage. The important species are Nematodirus pathiger, sheep and cattle, Nematodirus filicollis, sheep, goat, cattle, Nematodirus batus, sheep, goat, cattle. In this, the female, the tail is long and pointed. Hemonchus species, present in the abomasum of sheep and goat. Worm possesses a small buccal cavity with a slender tooth or the lancet. Cervical papillae are prominent. In males, the bursa is large with a small and asymmetrical dorsal lobe. In females, the vulva is posterior and the knobs, flaps or lingviform processes may be present. Hemonchus contortus, the wire worm of ruminants. Medium sized worms, males appear red while females have appearance of barber's pole. In males, dorsal lobe is supported by a Y-shaped dorsal ray. The spicules have a small barb near the extremity. Vulva of the female is usually covered by a vulvar flap. Hemonchus placei present in the abomasum of cattle and is similar to Hemonchus contortus. Mesistocerus digitatus present in the abomasum of sheep, goat, cattle, buffalo and pigs. The cuticle bears about 30 longitudinal ridges with cervical papillae and lancet. In females, vulvar flap is absent. In males, the bursa is small and dorsal lobe is symmetrical. The spicules are long and cylinder and united together for almost up to whole length. Dictyocallus filaria, the lungworm of sheep and goat present in the bronchi, are medium sized worms, milky white in color. They have four very small lips and a very small buccal capsule. In bursa, the medio and posterior lateral rays are fused together except at their tips. The external dorsal rays arise separately and the dorsal ray is cleft right from its base. The spicules are stout, dark brown and boot shaped. Eggs are thin shelled and larvae has a cuticular knob at anterior extremity and numerous brownish food granules in the intestinal cells. Dictyocollus viviparis lungworm of cattle, present in the bronchi of cattle and buffalo. The medial and posterior lateral rays are completely fused and the spicules are shorter. Dictyocollus anfieldi, 
lungworm of horse present in the bronchi. The medial and posterior lateral rays are fused for about half of their length. Metastrongylus elongatus, the lungworm of pigs present in the bronchi and the bronchioles and the intermediate host is earthworm. These are smaller worms with six small lips or papillae around the mouth. The bursa is relatively small with much reduced dorsal ray and fused mediolateral and posteriolateral rays. The spicules are filiform and end in a single hook each. Protostrongylus rufescens, red lungworm of sheep present in the bronchioles. The intermediate host is snail. Smaller worms, the bursa is short and is strengthened dorsolaterally by a chitinous plate on either side. The spicules are tubular with broad and membranous expansions. Mullerius capillaris, the nodular lungworm or the hair lungworm present in the lungs of sheep and goat and the intermediate host are land snails and slugs. Small worms, posterior end of male is spirally coiled Bursa is absent, but a number of papillae surrounds the cloacal opening. Spicules are curved and consist of a proximal half which is elate and two distal serrated arms ending in sharp points. Habronima musci present in the stomach of equines. The intermediate host is Musca domestica. Small worms with two trilobed lips. Pharynx is cylindrical and provided with a thick cuticular lining. The male has wide caudal alley, four pair of precloical papillae and one or two postcloical papillae. The spicules are unequal. Habronema majus present in the stomach of equines. The intermediate hostage stomachs calcitrans. The pharynx is cylindrical and contains a dorsal and a ventral tooth in its anterior part. Prestia megastoma present in nodules in the stomach wall of equines and the intermediate host is again Musca domestica. The head is constricted off from the body and the pharynx is funnel shaped. Thilagia rhodesi, the eye worm of cattle present in the conjunctival sac of cattle and buffalo, sheep and goats. The intermediate host is Muscae species. The cuticle bears prominent transverse striations and the buccal capsule is present. Male has about 14 pairs of precloical and 3 pairs of postcloical papillaries. The important species are Thilasia lacrimalis, the eye worm of horse, Thilasia bubellis, eye worm of buffalo, Thilasia calipida, the eye worm of dog. Oxy spiruda mensonae, the eye worm of poultry, which is present under the nictitating membrane of the poultry and the intermediate host are cockroach. These are small worms. The cuticle is smooth and pharynx roughly resembles an R glass in shape. Spirosarca lupi, the esophageal worm of dogs present in the walls of esophagus, stomach and aorta and the intermediate host is coprophagus beetles. Medium sized worms usually spirally coiled and pink in color. The lips are trilobed and pharynx is short. The male tail bears lateral alley, four paired and one unpaired median precloical papilla and two pairs of postcloical papillae. The spicules are unequal and dissimilar. Eggs are thick shelled and contain larvae when laid. Gongylonema pulchrum, the gullet worm, present in the esophageal mucosa or submucosa of sheep, goat, cattle, buffalo, and pigs. The intermediate host is coprophagus beetles. Medium sized worms. Cuticle of the anterior end bears a number of round or oval thickenings of various sizes. The cervical alley are well developed. In male, the spicules are unequal and tail is elate with number of papilla. Gongylonema 
Verucosum presenting the rumen of sheep, goat and cattle. It has festooned cervical alley as well as cuticular bosses on the left side only. Physaloptera. Cuticle usually forms a collar-like projection around the anterior extremity. The important species are Physaloptera prepituellis in the stomach of cats and Physaloptera rara in the stomach of dogs. Gnathostoma, the head bulb of the worms is armed with simple hooks and contains submedian cavities or ballonets which communicates with the cervical sac. Eggs are oval, thin-shelled and have a greenish shell ornamented with fine granulations with a thin cap at one end. The important species are Gnathostoma spinigerum, the stomach worm of cat and dog, Gnathostoma hispidum in the stomach of pigs. Dirophilaria imitis, the heart worm of dog and cat present in the right ventricles and pulmonary artery. The intermediate host is Culex, Aedes and Anopheles mosquitoes. They are large, slender and white worms. The hind end of male is spirally coiled and tail bears a small lateral alley. There are four to six pairs of ovoid papillae of which one pair is postcloacal, two pairs of finger shaped papillae lateral and posterior to cloacal opening and three to four pairs of small conical papillae near the tip of the tail. The left spicule is long and pointed and the right is short and ends bluntly. Paraphilaria multipapillosa present in the subcutaneous and intermuscular connective tissue of equines. The intermediate host is flies hematobia. The anterior end of the body bears a large number of papillae form thickenings. Paraphilaria bovicola present in the skin of cattle and buffalo. Intermediate host is musca. It bears 13 rows of cuticular elevations at anterior end. Rest cuticle is transversely striated. Citeria equina present in the peritoneal cavity and scrotum of equines, sometimes eyes also. The intermediate host is Aedes and Culex mosquitoes. Medium sized, milky white worms and taper towards a spirally coiled hind end. Mouth is surrounded by a cuticular ring which bears large lateral and small dorsal and ventral peribuccal prominences. The tail of male bears four pairs of precloical and four pairs of postcloical papillae. The spicules are unequal and dissimilar. Citeria labiatopapillosa present in the peritoneal cavity of cattle. Intermediate host is Anopheles. The peribuccal ring is distinct with prominent dorsal and ventral prominences. The tail of male bears three pair of precloacal and four pairs of postcloacal papillae. The tail of the female terminates in a small marked button which is divided into a number of papillae with two lateral appendages. Citeria digitata, peritoneal cavity and urinary bladder of cattle and buffalo. Intermediate host is Aedes, Anopheles and Culex mosquitoes. The peribuccal ring is distinct. The tail of the female terminates in a smooth spherical knob with two lateral appendages. Stephanophilaria assamensis, present in the hump of cattle. The intermediate host is musca. The oral aperture is surrounded by a protruding cuticular rim with denticulate edges. There is a circular thickening near anterior extremity which bears a number of small cuticular spines. Oncocerci species, elongate and filariform worms. The cuticle is transversely striated and bears characteristic spiral thickenings which are usually interrupted in lateral fields. The spicules are unequal and dissimilar. 
the important species are Onchocerca gibsoni, present in the nodules on brisket and hind limbs of cattle with culicoides as intermediate host, Onchocerca gutturosa in the ligamentum nuchi of cattle and buffalo and intermediate host is simulium, Onchocerca cervicalis in the ligamentum nuchi of equines, intermediate host are culicoides, Onchocerca armillata in the walls of aorta of cattle, buffalo, sheep and goat, intermediate host culicoides and simulium. Onchocerca reticulata present in the connective tissue of flexor tendons and suspensory ligaments of fetlock of foreleg of equines, intermediate host is culicoides. Brachanculus medinensis present in the subcutaneous connective tissue and cutaneous swellings of man, dog, sometimes horse and cattle. The intermediate host is cyclops. Adult worms exhibit marked sexual dimorphism. The females are up to 3 meter long, whereas the males are very small, ranging from 1.2 to 2.9 centimeter only. The males have unequal spicules. Trichinella spiralis, the adults are present in the small intestine, larval stages are insisted in striated muscles of man, pig, rat and other mammals. Very small worms with slender body, hind end of male bears a pair of lateral flaps on either side of cloaca and two pairs of papillae behind it. The spicule and sheath are absent in males. Tricuris or the whip worms, the anterior part of the body is long and slender, about three quarter of the length, while the posterior part is much thicker. Hind end of male is curved and there is a single spicule surrounded by a protusable sheath which is armed with fine cuticular spines. Eggs are brown in color, barrel shaped with two conspicuous lateral plugs projecting beyond the body margins at either poles and contain unsegmented embryo when laid. The important species are Tricuris ovis present in the cecum of goat, sheep and cattle, Trichuris globulosa in the cecum of camel, sheep, goat and cattle, Trichuris vulpis in the cecum of dogs, Trichuris discolor in the cecum of cattle, buffalo, sheep and goat. Capillaria, it resembles trichurid worms but are small and slender and the posterior part is not conspicuously thicker than the anterior part. Eggs have almost colorless shell, barrel shaped body with nearly parallel sides and the bipolar plugs do not project beyond the body margins at the poles. The important species are Capillaria caudinflata in the duodenum and ileum of fowl, Capillaria obsignata in small intestine of pigeon and fowl, Capillaria annulata in the crop and esophagus of fowl, Capillaria aerophila in the trachea and bronchi of dogs, Capillaria bilobata which occurs in the abomasum of cattle, Capillaria bovis present in the small intestine of cattle, sheep and goats, Capillaria plica in the urinary bladder and pelvis of the kidney of dog, cat and fox, Dactophyma renal, the kidney worm of dogs the largest nematode of dog and the females may be up to 103 centimeters. The tail of the male bears a terminal cup shaped bursa without rays and there is a single thin bristle like spicule. Eggs are barrel shaped, the shell is pitted except at poles and unsegmented when laid. Macrocanthorhynchus erudinaceus present in the small intestine of pigs and wild boars. The intermediate host are dung beetles. These are large side worms with transversely wrinkled cuticle. The proboscis is relatively small and bears about six transverse rows of six hooks each.